Hare Krishna. To have ability is a gift. To realize that we have ability is a greater gift. To realize that our ability is a gift is the greatest gift. For navigating our life journey, we all need some resources. We need some talent, some abilities. And if we have such abilities, that's a great gift. It's a gift because it enables us to make a tangible contribution, to carve out an identity for ourselves in this big world which reduces us otherwise to an insignificant statistic. So to have ability is a gift. At the same time, having an ability is not enough. We have to realize that we have abilities. And realizing that requires either introspection to look at what we have or it also requires connection with others who are like-minded, who are empathic, who are expert and who they help us to detect our abilities. Sometimes some people go through a large part of their life without realizing where their interest lies, where their passion lies, where their talent lies. And only at the fag end of their life they realize that actually they were meant to be a writer, a musician, an artist. So to realize that we have a, an ability is a greater gift. It's like somebody gives us an inheritance. To have that inheritance is a gift. But in that, if in that inheritance, uh, in the backyard there is a buried treasure, to know that the treasure is there and to excavate it, that is what enables us to tap the gift. Now, with respect to our abilities, there is a, the greatest gift, which is to realize that our ability is a gift. To think that our ability is ours alone is an illusion. Because even the most talented person can easily have an off day. Sometimes some sports players, say cricket players, somebody may be a brilliant batsman, but sometimes they are just out of form and they may get clean ball on a straight delivery. So why does this happen? Because the ability which they have, ability which they can mast in a masterly way display on good days, that ability seems to desert them on some other day. And that's because our ability is not ours. Arjun fought vigorously in the Kurukshetra war. And he used his ability for the service of Krishna. And yet, that same Arjun, after the Kurukshetra war got over, after Krishna departed from the world, couldn't combat against some cowherd men. And he was defeated. So in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna reminds Arjuna that you have ability and you are meant to use that ability for my sake. In an inspiring verse, which is a stirring call for action, 11.33, Bhagavata states, Tasma tamuttishta yasho labhasva jitva shatrun bhumshva rajyam samriddham mayai vaite nihata purvameva nimitta matram bhavasau vyasachi. Therefore, arise, O Arjun, and attain victory. You are Savyasachi, you are expert at fighting in archery with both your hands. But your success is not just in expertly using your skills, but recognizing that you are meant to be an instrument in my hands. Your ability is my gift. Paurusham Rishu Krishna has told Arjuna in 7.8. And when Arjun works in this way, by his ability, when he gets gift, he connects deeper with Krishna. And when that ability goes away, he still has the greatest gift, the gift of his inner connection with Krishna which and which alone is the soul's eternal wealth. Thank you. Hare Krishna.